Let's see what we have. Let us begin. Inquisitor. Talk about? Carry on. My friend. I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. Perhaps you could ask Sarah. She has opinions. You don't much care for Sarah, do you? I pity her. Although I imagine she would detest that. Perhaps in truth, I envy her. She has a purity of purpose that I lack. I have observed too much and done too little. What do you wish to know? I've heard tales that Dalish magic is different from the magic I learned in the Circle. No and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water. But it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical. Not needing Chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. The legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries. Harmonizing with new magic in an unending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. To be honest, I don't see it as different from any other magic. It's a means to an end. Indeed. The problem is that under the Chantry, blood magic is forbidden, so only criminals practice it. While in Tevinter, magisters compete with each other instead of keeping their volatile friends in check. They always succeed through power, so they have never had the chance to learn another way. I'd like to know more about the elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvenan was the Empire. And Arlathan its greatest city. A place of magic and beauty, lost to time. You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees, and imagine wooden ramps or Dalish air of elves. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches. Palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Here we are. I should go. You know where I'll be.
Inquisitor, what can I do for you, darling? I'd like to know more about you, Madame Vivienne. Whatever would you like to know? Why don't you tell me more about your duke? Bastien is... was... the leader of the Council of Heralds. The only person who could bring that rabble into line. He could charm a bird out of its feathers, and frequently did. I remember once, he broke up a fight between Prosper de Montfort and the Dowager with a joke and a glass of wine. Oh, Bastien. I'm sorry, my dear. I don't think I can discuss this. problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Cune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss. Hey, boss. How are you? See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. I love these inquisitor. Thank you. Can't wait, what's on? I'll be back if I need you. Spray smell of Sahara, lost in smoke from a burning ship, guilt at not feeling guiltier. I'll talk to you later. Yes. Perfectly happy never again setting foot in the Winter Palace. It wasn't the gossip and backstabbing, I know what the game entails, but the indifference to it all. I didn't care for it myself. I shouldn't be surprised. Chantry can be the same. Their politics are less extravagant, but just as heated. The Empress rules a country. The Divine influences half a continent. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here.
ship. This might be a decent place for a spawn. Lieutenant Farrow, sir. We've beaten back those Hakonite bastards. My men and I will hold here. The Hakonites along the river still pose a threat. After this last battle, we need time to fortify and regroup. What's the situation along the river? Between the Hakonites and the wildlife, this isn't the easiest place to maintain a presence. The river's the best way for the Inquisition to send supplies from Skyhold, or it would be if we could travel safely along it. The Hakonites set up camps near the banks, and they attack anyone who gets within view. That will be all, Lieutenant. Sir.
seemed remarkably comfortable at the Winter Palace Ball. I do my best. You didn't knock over a single priceless statue or fart even once near the dessert table. That you know of. I'm surprised you never spent time in the Tevinter courts. They would adore you. I did. After a while, the saddle just got too heavy. Did you see Scout Grandin on your way back? He should be on watch, but he's gone. Grandin was a good friend of Jace Turbot, one of the researchers. He was killed by Hakonites. I'm starting to worry that Grandin's gone and done something stupid. He was supposed to send word back when he reached his station, but nothing. Keep an eye out for him, please, for me. I helped our soldiers defend against the Hakonite raid. That's a relief. We've lost enough men to them. I should go. Goodbye, then. Inquisitor, Baron Avar Pierre de Montezan. I've come to consult with your soldiers on matters pertaining to natural threat. The beasts of these woods are fierce. I fear they've already claimed the life of my dear devoted scribe. What are you doing out here? Once I was content to remain in the safety of my estate. Then, with the passing of my uncle, I was obliged to join an expedition to the stranger parts of Thedas. How little of our natural world is understood. What terrors creep across the soil while we lie ignorant and ill-prepared. If you knew what I do of the common fennec, what would sleep? From that day onward, I have studied the wilds and the beasts therein. Are my soldiers running into problems? They face delays establishing camps due to pests of various nature. Uh, I offer to consider the matter. There is an herb mixture. Uh, correctly placed, it could ward beasts away from their supplies. I would not presume to further involve myself in your organization's military affairs. Uh, perhaps I might entrust these to you. I should go. Inquisitor.
seems to be working. assist the soldiers. I take it you've met Baron de Mortizan? And you are? Dunwich, your worship. The master's scribe. De Mortizan said you were dead. I'm merely late, sir. I was not to return until I'd gathered evidence on the Nox Mortar. How did you get involved in all this? I've been the master's scribe these past ten years. The Baron has made a study of a number of creatures. I'm assured my assistance is invaluable. You're gathering evidence on a, uh... The Nox Mortar. I was to set out apparatus for gathering information on the beast. Retrieving it proved difficult. Gurguts. If you're out here anyway, Your Worship, I can inform you that the Baron's pockets are deep. He would no doubt appreciate any efforts made on his behalf. What is the Nox Mortar, exactly? A skulking beast the Master believes lies somewhere in the basin. That's not very specific. I'm afraid specificity eludes us, sir. Officially, the beast remains undiscovered and unwitnessed. I should be going. Very good, sir. Let's look around. for Grandin. Looks like he survived the fight with the Hakonites. Won't get